Welcome to the Control M video series. In this video, we're going to look at installing Managed File Transfer 9.0. Let's start by looking at the prerequisites. Managed File Transfer 9.0 requires Enterprise Manager to be at version 9, FixPack 3 or greater, the server to be at version 9, FixPack 2 or greater, and the agent to be at version 8 and higher, and it needs to be the 64-bit version on Windows and Unix. The client forms will be downloaded as soon as you access the GUI and they'll be downloaded through the web server. So what are some of the enhancements to the installation process for Managed File Transfer 9.0? It's installed on the Enterprise Manager machine, not the agent, and a deployment feature from the configuration agent is used to push the code down to the agent. The forms are automatically downloaded when connecting to the to the GUI or the configuration manager, which means that you don't have to install on the agent, then install into the enterprise manager, and then install the client forms. Let's go to a demo and see how this works. Well, let's start by looking in the configuration manager. We have two agents we're going to install on. Uh, the first agent does not have advanced file transfer or managed file transfer installed on it. The second agent does have advanced file transfer, and if we select advanced file transfer, select connection profile management, and go look, we'll see that we do have several accounts sitting out there already defined and being used by this configuration. So let's close this and let's go to our install. All right, so I have the files downloaded here. Let's do setup. And our first splash screen is for Managed File Transfer Deployment Package Installation. We will accept the license agreement. Hit the Next button. It's going to check to see if any applications are running that need to be stopped. Uh, you must log out of the GUI and out of the Configuration Manager. All right, so now it's going to give us the installation directory. We'll just hit Install. And it's going to install the software onto the Enterprise Manager machine. I'm going to skip ahead while we wait for this to occur. All right, it has now installed successfully. We'll select the Done. And we'll go back to the Configuration Manager and see our changes. All right, we've now got the Configuration Manager started back up. Uh, we can see on the first agent that it does not have Advanced File Transfer or Managed File Transfer and the second agent still only has advanced file transfer. The way that we upgrade these is we go to Manage, Deployment, and this is our new deployment feature. So we want to create a new activity. We're going to install Manage File Transfer. We're going to do an install or upgrade. Uh, we're going to give this a name. Uh, you can put in an email notification when it is con concluded. It'll do it. So you have two choices, transfer, transfer, and automatically install. We want to go ahead and install it. If you needed to transfer it now and then install it after hours, you could do it that way. We're just going to do it in one step. Now, the agents that show up in this list are the agents that are eligible for MFT, Managed File Transfer, to be installed on them. So we're going to select both of them and do the install. And what this is going to do is give us two tasks in here, and it's running and the status message will change over time as it downloads the software to the agent and then installs it on the agent and then restarts the agent to make that active. So I just want to take a minute here in the middle of the process. We can see that the software has been downloaded to the server and the server is downloading to the agents, two agents chosen. I has downloaded 13% on one agent and 11% on the other agent. Something that I neglected to mention earlier uh, while the deployment is occurring, you can close that screen and go do other tasks and come back. And we'll come back and check. And we can see that the second machine did complete successfully. There was a problem on the first machine. I had to go fix something real quick. Uh, and then the first machine also completed successfully. Now, if we go back to the uh, configuration manager, we can see on the first agent that Manage File Transfer 9.0 is now installed. And on the second machine, Advanced File Transfer has been upgraded to Manage File Transfer. And if we select this machine, the Connection Profile Manager, we will be able to see that our accounts are there, that were there from Advanced File Transfer. 
Uh, this concludes the upgrade process. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Hope that the video was informative and helped answer your questions about managed file transfers. If you have any problems, customer support looks forward to helping you resolve them. Thank you.